Good evening. I'm Evelyn Basil, and this is Rare Stomps, a show devoted to local music. One of our sponsors tonight, the Italian Patio, located on First and University in Champaign, is helping us to patronize the arts in a very special way tonight, since they're providing some nourishment uh, for our group after the show. And our group tonight is a, a very unique type of string quartet to be found playing at Jumer's Castle Lodge every Friday and Saturday night. Their names are none other than the Squarnock Quartet. And the first number you'll be hearing is Serenade from the operetta The Student Prince. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank 
Simply elegant, and uh, W-I-L-L, eat your heart out. Uh, as a group, I think I'd like to introduce the people in this marvelous uh, ensemble. Shirley Meyer on uh, harp, obviously. Shirley also is a composer, besides being a harpist and uh, singing, also involved in uh, violin, I believe, Shirley. And Dorothy Martirano. Uh, having received your BS and MS uh, at the U of I, I guess you uh, accompanied the uh, U of I Orchestra in South America on their tour. Bet that was fun. Shaking the Marachis, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> and Sandy Robinson, uh, who recently won, I sh recently, I should say, 1977, won the bass viola contest what, here at the U of I, so to speak. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yes, uh, we went into some differences in the uh, violin and the viola for the audience's benefit. Uh, why don't you just give us a quick little uh, difference taste test here. Okay, well th this is a viola and it's bigger and lower sounding than a violin mm -hmm. and it's violin plays melody and this plays harmony and rhythm a lot but it has sometimes it does a melody and it has kind of a veiled sad sound which you'll hear a lot in the next piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were saying it's about one-fifth uh, lower in tone and right, one-seventh oh, larger. Right. For those of you out there in Change, statistics, yes. Right. Changes the ratio. Changes the ratio. Okay. And we can't forget Leon Jeter uh, of the U of I also. Yeah. And uh, uh, how long have you been involved with playing cello? I know you're the newest uh, person cello. to join the group. Cello since fourth grade. 
And with the square knot, five months now. Five months. Yeah. Um, as a group, where do you think you're going in the future? I know that you do play a lot of uh, local places, including the Ramada, Jumer's Castle Lodge, uh, the Bar, uh, the Moonlighter, uh, quite a few places. Uh, do you have any long-term goals, as, such as uh, maybe going statewide tour of some sort, or, or even out of state? Uh, surely. Or, or jump right into it, uh, any of you. We'd like to travel, and um, basically, we'd just like to get better at playing. Uh, it's difficult to get four people together and achieve the excellence that we'd like to do. Mm -hmm. That's our major goal. Keep and practicing. Keep practicing, yeah. mm -hmm. among other things, right? You have a few, few things you'd like to get done with your personal lives, I'm sure, besides just play well, your music. Uh, Leon, perhaps, has other things in mind. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Well, I know we're running short of time. Uh, is there anything particular you'd like to uh, mention as far as your repertoire goes? Because I know it's unusual. You play bluegrass, jazz, uh, a number of different things, include besides classical. We're trying to do a few theatrical pieces, too. We're working those in gradually. Uh, really? Where would these be done? Uh, well, we could do those private parties. Hmm. Uh, hear that? <laughs> we did that today. We played for the Musicians Union, and mm -hmm. we did a theatrical number there. Mm -hmm. It's a very quiet audience. We're used to hearing dishes in the background. and. Yeah, and that's what Leon was mentioning, uh, the crash of uh, banquet trays as uh, waiters and waitresses go careening through Joomers. It can be a little startling when it's just silent, like, I mean, all of a sudden yeah. everybody is silent. And it's a little more scary. There you are. <laughs> Well, I'll let you people tune up. Uh, I'll mention for the audience's sake, the next number that you'll be hearing is uh, a number b uh, from Dvorak, I believe, uh, Dumka. Uh, Shirley, you want to give a little rundown at all, or maybe I shouldn't? I'll just let them listen. Just play. Okay. Uh, I'd like to mention in closing for myself uh, our, to thank our sponsors once again, uh, the Italian patio where uh, you can taste the uh, art of Italian cookery, and uh, Flowers Unlimited once again, and San Lucy Sanford of uh, the Champagne Cellar for providing some of our set background. Um, for that, uh, I just let them go to it then. Thank you.